What is a green building? A green building is designed in an ecological way so that it uses all the available natural resources efficiently and is responsible towards the environment during each and every stage of construction of the building. The different stages of construction of a green building includes the planning of the building, construction of the building, overall operations of the building, reoccurring maintenance, renovation, and demolition of the building. These stages of construction can be classified into broad categories that are essential for qualifying as a green building. The broad categories include Site selection and planning While planning all the trees and natural vegetation should be preserved at the site. They should be integrated with the design of the building. Passive architecture techniques should be integrated within the design of the building. For example, the building and all the windows should be oriented according to the position of the sun and the direction of the wind. The well-being of all the construction workers should also be taken into account. There should be etiquette bathrooms, good sanitation at the site and safety features that shall prevent any kind of accidents during the construction of the building. Water management the overall consumption and wastage of water should be reduced by using efficient methods. This can be done by using water efficient plumbing fixtures in the bathrooms and kitchens of the building. A good rain water harvesting system should be incorporated within the roof and the outdoor areas of the building. The design should incorporate recharge trenches or recharge pits that can divert the rain water into the groundwater table. The waste water recycling plant should be installed within the building premises to recycle the waste water instead of releasing it directly into the sewer. The recycled water can be used for gardening and for flushing the toilets. Energy efficiency of the building. A green building should be energy efficient with low operating costs, air conditioning costs and overall maintenance costs. The renewable energy source include adequate natural lighting that lights up the interiors for most of the day. This helps in reducing the overall electricity costs. It is essential to install solar heaters which use solar energy to heat water. Solar panels should be incorporated within the roof of the building to harness solar power. To prevent indoor heat gain, the building should be insulated by using hollow bricks for construction. A reflective roof coating or a roof garden can keep the building cool in summer. Water bodies should be integrated within the indoors and outdoors because they keep the surroundings cool with the process of evaporating cooling. Keep an adequate number of plants within the indoors and outdoors because they cause cooling by transpiration. Water vapor is released by the leaves which cool the surrounding temperature, creating a healthy indoor environment. 
A green building ensures good comfort levels along with the well-being of its occupants. The position of all the windows is designed to ensure cross ventilation and some designs incorporate courtyards to allow cool air to flow within the building. The kitchens, bathrooms and basements should have exhaust fans to extract dampness, indoor air pollutants and foul odors from these areas. Only low VOC sealants paints and adhesives should be used for the construction of the building. This is because they do not cause indoor air pollution and do not emit toxic gases. The indoor and outdoor noise levels should be within acceptable limits as per the local bylaws of that particular area. Apart from this, there should be good accessibility for the people with disabilities. The bathrooms, ramps and elevators have to be wheelchair accessible. Building materials and resources. A green building is constructed with sustainable building materials like bricks, bamboo, terracotta, wood of fast growing trees and ramped earth to name a few. These materials are locally sourced are easily available and are cost effective because of their low cost of transportation. Green buildings are also constructed with recycled materials like recycled metal, fly ash, which is a byproduct of thermal power plants, and by reusing materials like wood, which are salvaged from old building structures. Another criteria is that during construction, minimum amount of wastage should be produced at the site. After construction, all the building construction waste should be efficiently segregated into different categories like wood, plastic, brick, mortar, concrete, steel, soil, etc and should be sent to the construction and demolition waste recycling facility. Innovation A green building must also use innovative technology systems that can reduce the overall carbon footprint of the building. Low emissivity coated glass can be used for the building to prevent indoor heat gain through the windows or structural glazing. The use of energy efficient air conditioners is a very important part of innovative green building design. To conclude, a building qualifies as a green building if these parameters are taken into account while planning, designing and construction of the building. These design parameters make a green building sustainable, energy efficient with a low carbon footprint and highly responsible towards the environment. Thank you for watching.